Hello and welcome to this uh, video on surface area and volume. I know it talks about surface area of a swimming pool, but for this case, we just confine ourselves to the volume of a swimming pool. Now, we've been given two views of a swimming pool, and they are the side elevation and the plan of the swimming pool. Now, the swimming pool is a good example of an everyday um, prism because the surface area, so because the, the, the cross the cross sectional area is constant from one end of the width of the swimming pool to the other end of the width of the swimming pool. So this trapezium shape shape term side elevation continues all the way from one end of the width of the swimming pool to the other end. So, because you've got a constant area right through, so it is in fact a prism. Right, now, because this is a trapezium, or a, probably called trapezoids in some part of the world, um, we add the lengths or the dimensions of the parallel side, in this case 1 plus 3, divided by 2 and then multiplied by 12. And that's what we got there, and that will give us that the cross sectional area is 24 meters squared okay and to find the volume we then multiply this area here 24 meters cubed by the width of the pool and that gives an answer of 240 meters cubed now to change that to liters we know that one meter cubed is equivalent to 1000 liters Therefore, 240 meters cubed, this one here, will be 240 times 1,000, which is 240,000 liters. Now, to change that to a standard, standard, standard form, I'm going to move the decimal point to the left-hand side, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the decimal point is going to, is going to be between the 2 and the 4. So, our answer then becomes 2.4 times 10 to the power 5 liters, and that's in standard form. Now, if you wish to find the area of the water, the surface area of the water, just just do 12 times 10. That will give you the area of the um, surface area of the water there. Okay, next slide. Now, in, in this slide, we shall be looking at the surface area and volume of a closed hexagonal prism. So only one end is closed, the other end is open. This is important. Now, to do that, uh, this is a, a regular hexagon because the widths are all the same. Okay. And for a regular uh, hexagon, you can actually curve out six triangles, as we've got here. And all the triangles are the same, or, or are the same area. So, what we then have is that the area of this triangle, is, the height is 6.9 and the base is 8. So, the area of each triangle is 6.9 times the, the base divided by 2. And then because you got 6 of these, you then multiply by 6. So, that's what we got here. And we get an answer of 165.6 centimeters squared. Now, these, these rectangles are all projections of the sides of the hexagon and because and they all so they must be um, of the same area. Now to find the area of each of these you, you do 8 times 12 and then for the whole 6 you then multiply by 6. So and that's what we got here. We got 12 times 8 times 6 and we have an answer of 576 centimeters squared. Now, to get to total surface area, we need to add um, this, the area of the closed end and the six rectangles. And that's what you got here. And the answer is 7,416 7, centimeters squared. And now for the volume. Now, because we know the cross sectional area, all we then do is to multiply that by the uh, the length of the prism and so that's what we got here and 165 times 12 centimeters cubed and that's 
about well, 1,987 uh, centimeter cubed. Um, I hope all that made some sense. Um, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Um,